Hello, friends and family. Well, we decided that this year, instead of typing out a letter, copying it off, signing it, and stepping it into a card, we would invite you along for a little tour of memory lane of some of our highlights for the past year. We don't know about you, but the last two years have flown by, so we thought this could be a special way to share a little bit about our year. After having our dear friends with us for, uh, for their furlough starting in November of 2019, and then all the way through 2020, we had to say goodbye to John, Heather, Caleb, and Jake Witherow in February of this year. It was a blessing to walk through the initial stages of the first year of the pandemic together, and now they're in New Mexico. We miss them. We miss you. We've also been so blessed and so grateful for our Pastor Brett at AP Creek. We really dialed in on AP Creek earlier this year, and wow, is he a gifted Bible teacher. If you are not from our area and love solid biblical teaching, it's super easy to listen online, and the teaching library is all there too. You can literally listen all the way through the Bible. But making AP Creek our church home has been one of the biggest gifts to us this year. We just had to do something to cheer everyone up this last year. So we determined to make time for the Easter Bunny to make some rounds. We had a blast that one of, and one of our clients' kids had the Easter Bunny's birthday party after that, and he insists on the Easter Bunny every year now. So, sorry, Nancy. <laughs> sorry, Nancy. We didn't have permission to show pictures of the Easter Bunny with all the kiddos, but it's so much fun and the adults love it too. We're gonna do it this year as well. Can't wait. Having two dogs has really changed up our routine and being guardian owners of Coco for trails and labradoodles is delightful. We are missing our furry friends at our guide dog puppy raising group. Maybe down the road we can have a third puppy? <laughs> um, but only uh, once Coco is done with her litters and is done being a mama. So Coco is super high energy and so funny. Piper's doing great as a bigger, older dog and supremely patient with Miss Spaz. We adore them both and are grateful for the antics Coco brings. We've been grateful to spend lots of time with Claire's family this year, and we did a first for them this summer. Her parents reserved a house in Black Butte, and we all got some mountain air, bike rides, horse rides, taking naps, and just enjoying summer vacation. June was a perfect time to be, with, be there in the meadow. So I had two surgeries this summer. One was a parathyroid removal. That was an oucher. You like my bag of keys is my cold pack? Um, and those parathyroid hormones are all now back to normal. So big shout out to my ENT, Dr. Shaley. Love him. Second surgery was a month after the first and it was my right ear. I had my left ear done in 2006 with much success. So now it was time to restore the hearing in my right ear. And Dr. Warren was my ENT on that one. So I'm really grateful for both doctors. In between surgeries, Claire got to do some canning. I got some dill pickles. Although we didn't have as much, I'm on rations. I only get one can a month. This one, babe. <laughs> Until next, next year. <laughs> <laughs> the Screen and Dreams came back this summer and we got to attend with some friends. It was so fun to see updated designs for kitchens, tile work, flooring, and home trends. And it might seem like something small, but it's always an August highlight. And we really missed it last year. We also got to attend the wedding in the Fruit Loop by Mount Hood, unlike any other wedding we've ever been to. It was pure delight to be there. Sweet, sweet friends sharing their incredible vows. The blue sky and mountain hood in the backdrop was stunning. Our friends Beth and Steve, who now live in Hawaii, made a pit stop through Portland on their way back from the East Coast. So we loved having them for a long weekend in August before returning to teach school. Turning them through our area in Charming Man, Hawaii County, in our beautiful August weather was a real treat. We discovered paddle boarding this year. Now, the dogs don't like it. They stay on the sand and splashing in the water, but we had a blast and we can't wait until we can use them again. We bought the kind that are actually inflatable and come with a pack to carry them to the beach and a pump. You would never know they aren't hardboards. And we actually still have one inflated in the living room and it's gonna stay there invisible until we get to take them out again. By September, we're pretty worn out. Super grateful to get away to the coast and why we worked most of the time we were there. It was great to get up, go for a walk or paddle, get ourselves moving and some rest. The puppies kept us moving, but they love to catch up on their sleep too. One thing about 2021 is about butts, but we don't have any pictures of those. Nope, no photos of butts. Ah, uh, let's be clear, butts as in getting ours into the gym. It's been really tricky to make time that we need to take care of our health, and it's something that we both struggle with, but we are committed to working on it in the new year, so feel free to ask us if we've been in the gym. We'll let you know if we get any pictures of that. If you have never been zip lining in Warrington, Oregon, we simply recommend it as it was a stunning fall day. We literally zipped through the tree lines and over the water and over the lake. It was the best experience and we loved going with our dear friend Nikki. The zip lighting company has a cool pub, outdoor fire pit, and so much fun for everyone. Definitely make time to go. 
So our home remodeling job this year was all about the front yard. It was getting pretty bad. And with the excess heat that we had this last summer, plus the moss, ugh, we went from this crazy, scraggly, horrible front entrance to this awesome patio space. We are thrilled and so is everyone who has to come to our front door. They're not taking their life in their hands. It was a little precarious before and our west side landscaper Zach is the best. We celebrated number eight in November. Woohoo! We have seriously no idea how eight years flashed by that fast. Good great. Thanks for being my handsome love. We celebrated my parents' 50th in December. So fun to honor them and their marriage. We loved having my dad's family up just to be together and we absolutely needed all their help to pull this shit big off. So good to see lifelong friends of my parents and cousins who took the time to stop by. Such a great afternoon. The photo booth was a hit. And then really business. Wow, it was amazing. All year long in 2021, it was the best year ever. And each of you that we got to work with in helping list and sell or buy and move, it was truly our pleasure. We could not have helped 47 families and individuals this year without each other, our TCs, Gina and Josie, and our client care coordinator team. Another great addition to our team happened this month. We got to welcome Pally as our listing coordinator. And now we're all getting ready for a jamming 2022. We're super excited to launch our new seller and buyer guides, our new incredible digital marketing guide, and our 26 page moving guide. It's almost done at the printer. We're also thrilled to come alongside those who are responsible to clear out and sell a parent's home or if they're a trustee for an estate with our moving right along program. Gosh, there's so much to tell you, but you can watch our Facebook business page for more. Woo, we're so grateful for everyone we get to work with, from our awesome sellers and buyers, to our lenders we get to work with, to the escrow and title teams, our inspectors and contractors. Truly, it takes a bit, and we certainly love ours. Yeah, we do. Each year brings its own challenges, highs and lows, right? We continue to lean not on our own understanding, but to lean on God and trust His direction and provision for us. He knows what's ahead, and we look forward to experiencing healing and hope as we walk into this new year. Thank you so much for being a part of our 2021. We're grateful for having all of you in our lives and being in our world. Happy New Year!